Hey guys, I'm LB, and let us continue the Talus Principle Test Chambers. We're continuing with number 15, A Matter of Time. It took exactly four hours to build. It's an original puzzle from the game. Sorry for the loud noise in the beginning, there is no way to fix that without using hammer. Alright, so this is a puzzle from the game. We're gonna see if we can figure out which puzzle it is from the Talos Principle. Hmm... So far, not ringing any bells, but I guess we'll find out. I might never know until Flooper comments. Alright, so this respawns the cube. We have the exit in here, which needs something up there to be disabled. Ah, whatever that is, I believe. What is that? Ah, it's a cube pointing at that. So basically, we just need to get rid of that or block it. Yeah, do we just need to block it? But we also need to get into here. How can we get into here, unless something turns this funnel off? Oh. So this is just a one way to go out, and we would have to go around the long way normally. Okay, well first of all, let me test my theory. Is that... Err... Uh, what? Okay, I thought that would open the exit. Oh, hey, we got another cube out of it, though. Also, can cubes touch the face plate? Yes, they can! <laughs> Players can't, but cubes apparently can. I haven't tested on the floor, though, but on the wall, they can. Interesting. Let's get this guy back down. Oops. Come on. That sounded like... Oh, I know what that is. So let's, let's look at this real quick. So if we do this, right? What? Excuse me, what? That was strange. I think I've seen that bug before. Yeah, okay, so it's got timers running. Oh, wait, the exit is only open for a certain amount of time. Let me see that again. Yeah, look at that, the exit is open right now. And then it closes. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay, what does this do? It's a use to space plate, which is probably to get to the exit before it closes. Let's see, what else can we do? We can get this cube to spawn over and over again. Unless the combination of getting the cube also turns off the fizzler. Oh, we need this as well. Oh, and yeah, it does turn off the fizzler. Alright, fine. Okay, so we have three cubes now. You know, the idea of the exit only being open for a short while does seem... familiar...ish. And I think that's the entirety of this puzzle already. Now we just gotta put cubes on buttons, and make a run for the exit. Actually, we wanna get exit in this direction. Forward. Aw, oh, man, I was not fast enough. Let's- let's maybe do that at one time speed. First, we gotta run back at two times speed, or three times speed, actually. Let's see here. Oh, come on. Uh, 
on me. Oh, did the timer not even start? I guess I didn't turn it off for long enough. Okay, let's see, how long do I have to turn this off for? I'm assuming this is long enough, so... Yep, I heard some lasers doing some stuff. Let's go, let's go, let's go! And made it! Yes! Well guys, as always, thank you for watching, if you hate the sound of my voice. Wait a minute! I'm doing my outro, and we still have plenty of time for more episodes! Unlike last episode! Let's, uh... Let's, let's go to the next one, then. Next test chamber. Oh man. It is so hard to break a habit, whenever I complete a map, I just start saying my outro. <laughs> I used to have a hard time getting into that habit initially, but it's, it's actually changed over time where now I can't get out of the habit. So let's see, let's view this one in Workshop, and read the description. This will take some time. Oh dear. <laughs> I've already used some time. Just a heads up, we- Alright, what does this do? What happens that? Oh man, we've got a lot of stuff going on here. What does this do? Opens that. <laughs> what does this do? Oh, interesting. So that gets the laser out here, but we can't actually use this laser right now. So how about we use the laser, uh, here. Yeah, right there. And then we can take the cube with us, I believe. Oh! <laughs> yes, well, now I know. Yep, that would make sense that as soon as we interrupt the beam, it traps itself. And of course we lost the music as a result. Whatever. Okay, so this... Again, only does that. What exactly is purpose doing this operation? Not much that I can see, so how about instead can we aim for one of the Yeah, we can aim for that one. So let's put this back on the button. Q back on button. Let's take Q over here and aim over there. Oh, gotta go around the button. There we go. I've started getting good at jumping over the laser at just the right time. Let's see... Oh, this is an alternate way. Can we aim at that? I feel like it would be advantageous to do that. Let's try. No, it does not appear that we can. Huh. Well, what exactly... can we actually do right now? I think I know. I think I know. If we go back over here, yes, we can get this cube! Oh no! No, we can't! This is glass. Birds can't see glass! I'm not a bird, though. But if anybody gets that quote, then, uh, I'm impressed. It's actually a quote from a trailer, from a movie. So if that helps at all... I don't know. Okay, so... Doing this doesn't really seem to help 
right this second. Unless we trap ourselves. Oh yeah, we can do- we can totally do that. We can even get back out. Yeah, so we can get back out by doing that. And, now we can aim at that. Ta-da! All you had to do is trap yourself. Right. Come on. Now, Flooper explained to me that the way he did this... Uh, cause I, I had initially asked how he did this, but then I edited it out of my comment, but he still saw my original comment with it, the question still there about how to get these halfway up. I thought he was using B-Mod for everything, but he's just doing Vanilla Puzzle Maker and making... making the ant lines go where he wants them to go, and actually using clever ore gates and stuff. And for these, it's just a matter of getting the timing right, and, and starting them for a brief moment and stopping them. So yeah, pretty cool. And I can totally understand how we can run into the object limit a lot now. Alright, so if we get this... Oh. So we do that, and then we get both cubes. Ta-da! Magic. Alright, so... We now have exactly double the cubes we had before. Let's try aiming at this. What did that do? Let's find out. I think, actually, what we'll want to do is go back. So that we can get a better angle now. Uh, let's use this guy. Because this is the one that's more annoying to recall, and the, the one I'm holding in my hands is easier to recall. If we do this, then we can take the cube off the button over here. Wow! I don't think I've actually seen this happen before. That is, like, just the perfect angle to actually activate it and keep going. <laughs> I wonder if anybody's ever exploited that to use in a map. I don't know. So if we do that... Let's see, where do we want to point this guy at? Over here-ish? Yeah, that'll work. Good enough. So then... Oh, don't do that, please. Point there. Ta-da! Save, and continue. <laughs> my... Wow. You know what? Hmm, this is... I think we actually need to put this cube... First of all, I need to make sure I actually do have the cube I can recall. Yes, so that one could be here. Point this guy over there. And we actually want to put this one back on the button again. As uh as unusual as that is. Because according to my calculations, we don't actually need to be in there anymore. I 
I wish you could carry multiple objects, but a lot of- a lot of games, for some reason, especially puzzle games, don't let you carry multiple objects, even though there's actually no reason to prevent the player from doing it, because, like, it doesn't break puzzles or anything. It just makes it more convenient to play. Alright, then we do this. And then we need all four cubes. Uh... Yeah, we can- actually, we can recall that one now. Ooh. That's interesting. Wow! I didn't even think about that. <laughs> yeah, that- <laughs> Uh-huh. Yep. Mm-hmm. But we do need to recall it. And the best way to do that... Is it's actually a multi step process to recall it properly. All right, let's get this cube in there carefully. This. Then... Put this on here. Oh no, we don't need to recall it, we can just swap the cubes and then steal it. Uh, I don't know which one I have now. And I'll put them both on top, so that no matter which one disintegrates, one of them will land on the button. Okay. Now I know which one's which. So yeah, we actually don't need to recall this one, but we need to recall the other one. Yeah, this- there we go. That's how you do it. Come on. Ah, uh, whatever. I'll push with the... Come on. I'll push with the other one. Cube? Oh, that's a... That's a visual glitch. That laser's not actually there, it's just that the game renders it as if it is. It's been a long time since I've seen that particular visual glitch. And then, we just take these cubes. Cool stuff. Two maps this episode. Hey, fix, fix, fix yourself. There you go. But yeah, two maps this episode. Not, not three or four as per usual, but yeah, two maps. So as always, thank you for watching, if you hate to sound my voice, leave a dislike, it's up to you. I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye!